Alrighty, so we're on a no heat call. Uh, so this is a brand new Lennox furnace. It's like, I think it's only like a month or two old. Um, no heat, uh, air conditioning, fan, all that works. Uh, but uh, so I came up into the attic, it's an upflow in the attic. Um, so the inducer's not coming on because I was originally got a um, an error code on the board saying that the low pressure um, pressure switch didn't close um, because this guy's not creating a vacuum so um, let's go ahead and cycle it and see what happens so it's calling for heat you see that well, it's hard because I got the light on but it's saying H and this isn't spinning at all. Let's see what we get. So look at that, we got 120 volts. I'm cycling it on here, you hear that? That means I got 120, see? I don't know if you can see that. There you go. So we're getting voltage, but the motor's not coming on, so it may be a defective motor. I'm gonna check that capacitor first, just to make sure to rule that out. Um, but it looks like this is a, a bad motor. Uh, straight out of the box, man. So we'll be coming back and changing out that inducer. But like I said, I'm going to verify this first um, before I do anything. So I believe this is a three microfarad. Yeah, it's all connected, right? So I know I should probably be discharging this thing, but um, I didn't get shocked, so I guess we're in the okay. So. Um, I'm going to switch over to uh, my microferrets. Oops, there we go. Okay, well that's, yeah, let's take that out. Okay, cool, so usually these are like a three or a four. So let's just check and see what we got going on here. Just make sure it's not a bad capacitor. Yeah, 4.0. So it's not the capacitor, the motor's dead. That's pretty crazy. I don't think I've ever had a brand new system with a dead motor like that. I'm sure it happens, but I mean, I'm just saying from my personal experience, I've never had it. I uh, came across one, so I'm going to get the um, uh, make and model, or the model and serial, and uh, I'm going to have to order it tomorrow because it's like, it's like 6.30 at night. Uh, that's why they call me the Nighthawk. <laughs> so, um... But anyway, uh, yeah, so it looks like we got a bad inducer draft motor. Uh, so we're going to have to come back and swap that out because uh, I'm getting voltage. Um, when it comes to checking connections, you want to just kind of double check, which I did off camera. Um, that's why I found that it was working. I guess I just wasn't getting good contacts in there. Um, but yeah, I just want to double check because I checked the wire and it's good. It's not nicked or anything like that. Um, but yeah, we've, we're getting voltage, so we know it's not the, uh, it's not the circuit board. The circuit board is doing its job. This guy isn't spinning, therefore it's not creating a vacuum, therefore this is not closing, therefore this guy goes into lockout. <sighs> so, yeah, so they're going to have to go without heat for a while, longer. But, uh, at least now we kind of know what's going on. Very surprising though. I, honestly, I thought the, the this was going to be off or something because you know it happens. But because uh, this is the first time they try to run it. But anyway, uh, we'll be back with the uh, the installation of that and see if that uh, fixes it. Should, but yeah. So we're back here. The uh, faulty inducer, brand new system, already unplugged. We're going to go ahead and uh, swap this out. So first things first, we got to take the uh, the pipe off. Inducer's turning. You 
got our uh, igniter going. And we should be getting our gas valve in a minute now. Alright, we got ignition. And now we're just waiting for our blower. Those are blower. We'll give them a little heat for a little bit. But yeah, that was our issue. We had a little piece of rubber stuck inside the inducer draft. Probably when they were installing it, it looked like the plug for the suction line of the evaporator coil. Probably dropped it down in here when we turned it on, sucked it in, got stuck. So I changed it out just in case, because you never know, it could have warped the wheel. Yeah, we're back up and running and then heating. Because it's 54 degrees outside here in Southern California, so to us that's cold. <laughs>